These are supporters of Niger's junta. Hundreds of them crowded the capital of Niamey on Thursday, cheering for the military and protesting against West African sanctions. The people of Niger are free today, says this woman, a day she said she never saw coming. Others decried the sanctions imposed by the Economic Community of West African State, or ECOAS. They were announced after President Mohamed Bazoum was overthrown last week. General Abdouaman Chiani, the former head of Niger's presidential guard, has since declared himself head of state. Regional defense chiefs are in talks about a possible intervention to restore democracy. This is the seventh coup in West and Central Africa since 2020 and follows recent military takeovers in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. ECOA said coups will no longer be tolerated in the region, adding it could authorize the use of force if soldiers did not restore Bazoum to power by Sunday. Chani cited persistent insecurity as justification last week, as an Islamist insurgency continues to rage in the region. But an analysis of data shows that security was actually improving thanks to tactics used by Bazoum's government and help from French and U.S. forces. Violent incidents in Niger were down nearly 40 percent in the first half of 2023, compared to last year. That's according to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, a U.S.-based crisis monitoring group. Coups, on the other hand, have seemed to stoke insecurity. ACLED data showed violence has soared in Mali and Burkina Faso since their militaries took power. Last year, deaths in Mali linked to violent incidents doubled to nearly 5,000. In Burkina Faso, they rose 80 percent to more than 4,000. <laughs> Security analysts warned that the situation could allow groups linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State to expand their reach across the region. <laughs>